Hi guys, in this project I'm going to make myself a digital timer for my rubber band powered cars so I can see how fast they go in my kitchen, which is a fairly short distance so it's not going to be that accurate but it will give me some idea of how fast they go. First component arrived in the post today, it's this digital handheld stopwatch which it's very simple, press the button and it starts counting, press the button again and it stops. And the intention will be to intercept that button and use some sort of laser trigger to switch it on and off. Got full instructions here on how the stopwatch works and it cost me £2.18 shipping free. We need an electronic trigger to switch on the stopwatch and switch it off. So what I'm looking at here is one of these annoying singing birds. And I've got a laser pointer here. So the idea is as simple as that. that fella. Right, I've rigged up a very simple little circuit here. Unfortunately my breadboard is a black breadboard so you can't actually see anything on it. Um, at the front here we got the light dependent resistor that I took out with that singing bird. I've got a variable resistor here, I've got a resistor just there, a resistor just there, an LED just there, a transistor just there, a 2N2222 and a 9 volt supply and if I shine my laser pointer straight at the LDR the LED goes out and if I move something in front of it I don't know if you can see that so we're triggering The LED. So what we need to do now is replace that LED with a micro switch which I've actually got one on this board I didn't really want to use this one I've ordered some from eBay but uh, this one might do the job so I'll desolder that and fit it in there and see if I can get that to get this circuit to switch that relay. Version 2 of the circuit I found a different little relay. I've got my laser pointer pointing straight at the LDR, light dependent resistor. Still got the black breadboard I'm afraid. But the way I've got it set up is when you break the circuit, that operates the relay. The relay closes and switches on the LED. Now it only needs to be a moment to repress because that's what triggers the stopwatch. Alright, let's take this fella apart. Well, that looks simple enough. Just a push switch there. Right, there you go. I've just soldered either side of that push switch. Had to take the board off to do it, but uh, there we are. Now I'll put it back together. Anybody who watches my videos regularly knows I'm never really happy unless I've used hot glue somewhere. Here's the basic circuit up together. It'll still need a bit of refinement, 
that the basic idea is working. So if you watch the seconds, if I break the circuit, off we go. And if I break the circuit again, it's stopped. So that's our timing circuit. But I think I may need to do some refinements on it because I think we'll have problems if I just use it as it is. still work so I can reset it back to zero. I think that'll do for tonight and then we'll do some more work on it to see if we can get it working properly.